Hey everybody, Ben Fredrickson here alongside Jeff Gordon talking blues hockey. Gordo, how was it? You hit the road for the blues dad trip. The blues brought their uh, honorary dad uh, on the road to cover the team. And uh, how was it, man? You got to go to Minnesota. It was like negative seven degrees. Have your fingers thawed out yet? No, it was a, it was, it started out being a great trip. Anytime you go to Chicago, that uh, the, the dad's like that. Unfortunately, there, it was a matinee game for them. Uh, so you had to be a little careful about uh, the Saturday night in Chicago. And then they won the games against the Blackhawks, a very youthful uh, Blackhawks team. But, yeah, and then you go to – it's a very quiet – St. Paul's pretty quiet, particularly when it's that cold and there's just not much happening there. And there wasn't much happening in the game itself. So it's kind of like typical of the season so far, Ben Fred. You know, you win one, you lose one. You're, you're doing okay, but you're not doing great. Once again, they couldn't get to the four games over 500. They're just sort of middling right now and just kind of getting through this thing. And so – yeah, not a. It was not kind of a low event trip for the for the group, but that's kind of what this team is right now—a low event team. Well, we've started to see some urgency shown in teams across the the league, including some teams that are trying to catch the Blues. A couple firings of head coaches. Uh, it must mean it's the official start of the NHL season when coaches start getting the axe, Gordo. Um, these are teams trying to catch the Blues that have let their coaches go. What do you make of of those moves, and and what is what does it say about kind of? this division for the blues where there's a lot of teams in there that are just not expecting to be underperforming. And a lot of teams that are demanding that they should be in the playoff hunt. And how does that affect the blues kind of this urgency that they're surrounded by? Yeah, there's no question. I mean, there's some people saying, well, at its at the current rate, you could, maybe you get that last team in the playoffs of like 85 points, which would be a pretty poor showing. But I mean, look, Edmonton's got two of the best players in the world. They've already fired the coach. They're going to want to get in the playoffs. They were talking Stanley Cup, and then they sank like a like a safe in the water. Uh, they're going to want to push. Calgary wants to make a push. You know, obviously Calgary changed coaches before the season. Uh, they don't want to be where they're at. Uh, Seattle made the playoffs last year. They've had a tough start, but they figured, you know, why not now? We should be competitive. Arizona's tired of losing. They want to be competitive. Anaheim, same way. Uh, L.A., the Kings are very good. So you, you look at, you know, Nashville could have done a – a whole total rebuild after moving out from a couple of contracts, but no, I mean, Barry Trotz took over his gym. He wants to contend. Now they're playing well as the blue saw first and they're playing pretty good. So all of this means that to make the playoffs, the blues are going to have to pick up the pace. The teams behind them, maybe, you know, San Jose is not coming. Chicago's not coming. They're playing for the long haul. Well, at least Chicago's got good. At least Chicago's got good vibes within its team going on, based on all the. Yeah, you know they've uh, off ice issues there, Ben Fred, and they're they're learning how to handle off ice issues with a little more. Um, Chicago urgency. and off ice issues never. Off ice, yeah, and this time they didn't sweep anything under the rug, right? So <laughs> there's that, and I would say they were they're the unluckiest franchise, except for they did get Connor Bedard, and he's going to be really really good. But maybe yeah, there's should, 14 maybe teams demand a trade. Maybe they should just trade him. Just fresh start. Just trade him to St. Louis and uh, get a fresh start for everybody involved. Well, they're, they're going to just get younger and younger. They look like a junior team when they played the Blues. They had some kids on that team when they played. So, uh, you know, but other teams, you know, just won't give in. So it's going to be it's going to be challenging. Look, Craig Ruby's got a big challenge. He needs to develop the younger players, uh, keep that going as they go forward with Thomas and Cairo. They hope that Neighbors is in there. He's played better. They hope that Perunovic gets over the hump uh, and becomes an impact player. They got some kids coming. But in the meantime, though, they don't want to – they don't want to sink. They want to be be, uh, be playing relevant hockey, good hockey, important hockey uh, in March and April. And, boy, there's a ways to go to get there, Ben Fred. Gordo, who's the one guy that you can point to and say, if this guy starts finding another level, this Blues team can get off of that kind of track of, of just enough? Um, we're kind of seeing them – they're doing just enough right now – to be in the mix what's the who's the one guy that you can say this guy finds another gear and all of a sudden we'll be talking about the blues finding their rhythm and, and going on a little bit of a run well it's uh jordan Cairo. it's he had a poor start a lot of guys did but pavel which has gotten going uh colton Preko's playing uh, his best hockey perhaps i think really since he was next to bowmeister and it was life was a lot easier when he had jay bowmeister next to him so he's playing well bennington's got his game back he's back in his top competitor mode uh, Thomas is playing fine. He's looking to shoot. So I think those guys are good. They're, they're where you need to be. Cairo is still putting a lot of shots on net, but his shooting percentage is below six. It's normally around 14 hit the post again. in uh, in St. Paul, he's had some tough puck luck, but he's got to shake it off. He's got to just keep going. 
he can't get down. And he admit he admitted last year that he got down. He got frustrated. You know, he can't. He, he's getting paid to score, and uh, he's going to have to earn a spot back on that tower top power play, and he's going to have to produce. I mean, it's just it's big boy hockey time now for him. And uh, I think the want to is there, and his defensive play has been better. But he's on pace to score uh, 16 goals, man. Not good enough. That's not what that contract is uh, no. said for him to do. Good fatherly advice there from uh, from Jeff Gordon, fresh back from covering the dad's trip for the St. Louis Blues. Find his coverage, all of his hockey work at stltoday.com where he got the Blues covered like nobody else. For Gordo, I'm Ben. We'll talk to you next time.